How to make box animation in Blender Hi, welcome again. Today we will learn about how to create box animation in Blender, version 3. First of all open Blender. I've already opened it. Export box die line from your design. Open Blender and press 7 in numpad to change the view to top. Then press Ctrl plus A to add a die line image in the background. Now press Ctrl plus A again and add plain object in mesh. And resize according to the background image corner to corner and edge to edge. The box has 6 sections. Select any two loops which you want to extrude and press Ctrl plus E and then press X, Y or Z for the direction or axis. Then click on the modifier icon and add solidify modifier to the object and set the thickness to 0.01 meter. Then select the object and press the tab to edit mode and select line loop type. You also can do that by pressing 1, 2 and 3 on the keyboard. Then select the line where you want to add a hook, and press Ctrl plus H to create a new hook. Change the hook display to single arrow and set the size to 0.5 meters. Then select the hook and press Shift and select the object. And press the tab to edit mode and select the section which you want to connect with the hook. Then press Ctrl plus H again. And select hook to selected object. Press tab to release from edit mode. And check by selecting the hook and rotating it to the 90 degree Y axis. The section is hooked correctly. Then add hooks to all the required areas in the same manner. Press Ctrl plus S to save the file.
For the last hook, you have to connect four sections. Else it will not be working perfectly. Now start to animate flipping. Bring the timeline cursor to frame 1. Then select the first hook and press I for the animation. And select rotation. You can see the keyframe is generated for rotation. Now bring the timeline cursor forward to 30 frames. Select the hook you want to rotate. And press R to rotate and Y to Y axis and then N to 90 to set the degree. Again press I on keyboard. And create keyframe for the rotated section. And check if it is working fine. Perfect. Now do the same procedure with all hooks. Now adjust the keyframes according to your needs. animation is completed. Perfect. Now press Shift plus A to add the camera. And press 0 on numpad to active camera view. Press Shift Plus to activate camera movement with Q, W, E, and A, S, D. Press the Escape button to finish the camera movement. Now we are going to create a scene for our packaging box. Press Shift Plus A and select Plane Object in Mesh. Scale according to your needs. Now press the tab to edit mode. Now press E to extrude Z axis. And select the corner line. And press Ctrl plus B and scroll up with your mouse to increase divisions to make the background wall smoother. Then select floor corner line. Press Alt and double click on the line to select the whole line. Then press Ctrl plus B again to smooth the corners. Now we are going to add light to our scene. Press Shift plus A and select Area Light. Move the light top of the packaging box and increase the light power to 500 Watt. Then select Light and press Shift plus D to duplicate and press Y to move to the Y axis. 
press 3 on numpad to change view, to write orthographic, and rotate the light according to your needs. And decrease the power of the second light to 250 watt. Now we are going to add our design to the object. Split the above scene into two views. Let's create material for the object. And give name packaging box. Change the editor type, to UV editor. And the bottom view change, to shader editor. Now select the object in perspective view and press tab to edit mode. Click UV in the menu bar and click Unwrap. Then press the Open button in UV Editor view and select your design. and resize the lines according to your design in the UV editor view. Now right click on the shader editor view, and add image texture. And select your design name from the list. Then switch to render view and check. The design is upside down. Let's correct it. Open Photoshop and import your design. Then flip canvas horizontal in image rotation. And save. Then again select your design and rotate the lines by 180 degrees. Perfect. Now press 0 in numpad to switch to camera view. And make redness settings according to your needs and operating system requirements. Now 
we are going to animate the camera by selecting camera. Bring the timeline cursor to frame 1 and press I on the keyboard. This time select location and rotation. Press Shift Plus to activate camera movement with Q, W, E, and A, S, D. And set the second location for the camera and so on. Accordingly. Then set the output properties, just like I am doing. And finally, click render in the menu bar. And select render animation. That's it. Thank you for being with us. Bye till then next video tutorial.